Okay, people, so um, we are going to get into part two of this bookshelf tour. Um, just so you know, the reason I didn't, um, I'm not editing the video is because the place, the thing that I use to edit my videos is not allowing me to upload it into it because it's so long. So that's why, you know, the books look like this instead of like, the way that you should be seeing it instead it's coming backwards instead of forwards you know what i'm saying okay so i'm gonna get into this because there's still a lot more books to go so let's get this started this this top shelf uh, on top of this 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 shelf here that i'm gonna work on is books that i've already read that i am keeping for sure so book lovers by Emily Henry, Death Prefers Blondes by Kayla Rorig, Early Departures by um, Justin A. Reynolds, Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia, The Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo. Okay, then next we have the Heartstopper series. By Alice Oseman, we have uh, Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, and Volume 4. Next, we have the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan. We have The Lost Hero. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> Ah, yep, very chaotic. Okay, um, The Son of Neptune, The Mark of Athena, The House of Hades, and The Blood of Olympus. Then we have The Lucky List by Rachel Lippincott. As Good as Dead by um, Holly Jackson. How? Oh, I didn't remember that. It was beyond me. Then we have the Diviner series by Lippa Bray. We have the Diviners. Lair of Dreams. Before the Devil Breaks You. And the King of Crows. Huh. Next we have Light Lark by Alex Astor. Um, Something in the Way by Jessica Hawkins. This is the book book one in the series. I, I need to get the other one. Um, the Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. And the um, Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy, both by Mackenzie Lee. And then we have Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo. Next we have the Skyward series by Brandon Sanderson. We have Skyward, Starsight, and Satonic. with me <laughs> next we have the savage song and our dark duet by V.E. Schwab then we have the inheritance trilogy by Jennifer Lynn Barnes we have the inheritance games the Hawthorne legacy and the final gambit. Okay, then we have 
Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess, and then City of Ashes, all by Cassandra Clare. Then we have the Caraval Trilogy by Stephanie Garver. We have Caraval, Legendary, and Finale. So those are all the ones that on this shelf that I read that I'm planning to keep. It's not going to work out, probably. I'll lay it flat. Oh, Lord, it George. It's all good. Seriously, it's all good. I got this. It's, it's, it's all good. Okay. Next up, we have Witch and Wizard by Volume 1 by James Patterson. The Jersey Brothers by Sally Mott Freeman. Um, Dead, Deadlands Ghost Walkers by Jonathan Mayberry. Indivisible by Travis Thrasher. D-Day to Victory, The Diaries of a British Tank Commander by Sergeant Trevor Greenwood. Combat Jump by Ed Ruggiero. Backlash by Brad Thor. The Martian by Andy Ware. The Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken. Anarchy in the Ashes by William W. Johnstone. Now, the William W. Johnstones are mainly mine. So, because he's not really into Westerns. Ah! The Last Apprentice by Joseph Delaney. And I have the rest of the series around here somewhere. Use of Force by Brad Thor. Wild Card by Laura Lee. Then we have Touched by an Angel by Jenny Koch. Inside Delta Force by Eric L. Haney. Then we have Without Fail and The Hard Way, both by Lee Child. Next, we have the Extinction series, by, the Extinction Cycle series by Nicholas Sansbury Smith. I already showed you number seven over there on the other shelf. So here's book one, which is just Extinction Horizon. Book two, Extinction Edge. Book three, Extinction Age. Four is Extinction Revolution. Five is Extinction End. And then we have like 6.5 or 7. I think it's 5 point. I think it's 6.5 actually. Extinction Loss. It's just a little tiny novella. And Extinction Aftermath. And we have Kill Switch by Jonathan Mayberry. Cutting Edge by Ward Larson. Um, Tom Clancy's The Division Broken Dawn by Alex Irvin. Or Irvine, whatever. American Sniper by Chris Kyle. Never Call Me a Hero by um in jack dusty cleese american wife love war faith and renewal by t 
Taya, Kyle, or Taya. Um, zombie apocalypse, apocalypse, ac 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 apocalypse now by Allison Littlewood. I might have the other ones around here somewhere too. Um, Vietnam book three, free fire zone by Chris Lynch. Then we have come back to me. Stay with me and run away with me all by Mila Gray. Dangerous Games by Laura Lee. The First Wave by Alex Kershaw. K-19 The Widowmaker by Peter Hutchinson, maybe? I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, Hidden Order by Brad Thor. If Not Now, When, Duty and Sacrifice in America's Time of Need by Colonel Jack Jacobs and Douglas Century. The Cobra Event by Richard Preston. No, I think this one's mine. Um, Carriers by Patrick Lynch. Zombie Apocalypse Fight Back by Steve, uh, created by Stephen Jones. Why Does My Cat Do That? Answers to the 50 Questions Cat Lovers Ask by Katherine Davidson. And I have read that one. Forsaken Hearts by Susan L. Lambden. I think this one's mine as well, but I'm not... I'm not, no, actually it is Williams, but it's about a virus. He usually reads those kind of things. Then we have books six and 11 in the Last Apprentice series by Joseph Delaney. There is Clash of the Demons and Slither. Deeper by Roderick Gordon and Brian Williams. Heat Seeker by Laura Lee. And render, render up the body by Mary Ann Wesson. Okay. The Princess and the Fangirl by, which is part of Once Upon a Con series by Ashley Poston. And I'm pretty sure I've read this one, so that'll go up there. You're Not Safe by Mary Burton. Six Gears by Harlan Coben. The Princess Bride by William Goldman, which I have read. Um, Ink Death by Cornelia Funk. I have the rest of the series around here somewhere. Um, Birds of Prey by Wilbur Smith, Silencing Eve by Iris Johansson, Arctic Dreams, Imagination and Desire in a Northern Landscape by Barry Lopez. Oh, looks like I need to unhaul this because we have this somewhere. Light it up by Nick Petrie. So that's an unhaul. <laughs> um, the Rule of Mirrors by Carrick M. O'Brien. The Tattooist of Auschwitz by Heather Morris. And I did read this one. I think I gave it five stars. But I don't think Williams read it yet. The Thirteenth Tale by Diane Setterfield. Which I think I've read this one too. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bear with me. Next, we have Special Forces Un Unconventional Warfare by Chris Lynch. You Had Me at Meow. The Secret Thoughts of Cats. Wing Commander Freedom Flight by Mercedes Lackey and Ellen Guan. The 
Okay. Next we have a bunch of Jonathan Mayberries. Um, we have Code Zero, Deep Silence, Mars One, Bad Moon Rising, Ghost Road Blues, Dead Man's Song, Dead of Night, Patient Zero. Now I know these are all out of order, but that's okay. Uh, all of my books are out of order. Assassin's Code. The Dragon Factory, Dogs of War, Fall of Night, Extinction Machine, the King of Plagues, and Joe Ledger Special Ops, all by Jonathan Mayberry. Then we have The Hatching Trilogy by Ezekiel Boone. We have The Hatching, Zero Day, and Skitter, probably out of order. I think Skitter is book two and Zero Day is book three, but I know The Hatching is book one. Okay, and then we have um, Hornet Flight by Ken Follett. This is insane. <sighs> this next part is going to be a little difficult because it's on the letter, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Next we have Rock Force, the American paratroopers who took back Corrigator and Exacted MacArthur's Revenge on Japan by Kevin Moore. Yes, a very, very long title there. <laughs> uh, Wingman Book 17, Attack on Area 51 by Mac Maloney. Prince of Persia, Before the Sandstorm. Um, I know the last name of the, of the author of this is McFarlane. I just do not know his first name. Because that's all it shows on the front is the last name. The Silence of War, an Old Marine in a Young Marine's War by Terrence Patrick McGowan. And Black Ice by Brad Thor. Gone to Dust by Matt Goldman. The Terror by Dan Simmons, which I read and I did not like, but William wants to read it. Uh, Near Dark by Brad Thor. Last Chance by Greg Hurwitz. Uh, Wingman Book 18, Battle for America by Mac Maloney. Predator 1. Wind Through the Fence, Dark of Night and Flesh and Fire, all by Jonathan Mayberry. Yes, we have pretty much almost all of Jonathan Mayberry's books. <laughs> On Desperate Ground by Hampton Sides, Warm Bodies by Isaac Merriam, which I read and I loved it. So, I don't know why it's down there. Next, we have Voodoo Plague, book one by Kirk um, Patton, which I absolutely love this one. He found this when he was still working at um, as a correction officer at a prison, and we both loved it. So... <laughs> Now we just need to try and find the rest of the books here. Okay. Next we have We Were Soldiers Once and Young by Lieutenant 
General Harold G. Moore and Joseph L. Galloway. Relentless by Mark Greeny, which is another book in the Gray series. Or Gray Man series, whatever. Then we have Sierra 6 by Mark Greeny, which is another book in the Gray Man series. 1776 by David McCallough. difficulties okay next we have 442 by Dean Hughes The Rains by Greg Hurwitz um, Serpent by C Clive Cussler and Ghost of Wars by Brad Taylor so that's all the ones on this shelf Okay. <laughs> uh, this is ridiculous. Okay. This next part is going to be a little bit difficult because the table is in the way. So I'm going to try really hard to show you the books that are on this dresser here. It's um, part, part books that I have already read that I'm keeping and part books that I, I'm, I haven't read yet that I want to get to very, very soon. So... <laughs> We have Unspoken Fear by Hunter Morgan, Diablo Archive by Richard A. Knack, Mel Odom, and Robert B. Marks. Then we have <sighs> Running Out of Room. <laughs> then we have Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom, both by Lee Bardugo, Eve the Awakening by Jenna Marassi. Your girl is not happy. Shit. I need help over here. Okay. Okay. Come here. Come to mommy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next we have Dead After After, Dead Reckoning, Dead Until Dark, Living Dead in Dallas, Club Dead, All Together Dead, From Dead to Worse, all by, um, now, I know this is this this is not all of them because there's 13 books in this series, but these are all by Charlene Harris. <laughs> Next we have Montana Lawman Rescuer by Linda Ford. Um, the Lawman's Redemption by Danica Favorite. Um, Margaret Way, well, Runaway Wife by Margaret Way. Love Creek by Becky Albertalli. Mission Critical by Mark Greeny. This is part of the Gray Man series. The Count of Monte Cristo by um, Alexander Dumas. This is my all-time favorite classic ever, in case you were wondering what's with all the tabs. <laughs> then we have Blood Memory by uh, Greg Isles. I had planned to read this many, many times, and I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Well... It looks like I started it. I'm on chapter 6, but I don't remember shit, so I'll probably have to restart it all over again. Then we have Frozen by Kate Watterson. Isn't that pretty? I see, it's, it's, it's honestly the reason I'm keeping it is because of the cover. I haven't even read it yet. Um, the Nanny by Gilly McMillan. And we have a Keeper of the Lost Cities Unlocked, which is um, Shannon by Shannon Messenger. This is book 8.5 in that series. Okay. Then we have Baby Daddy by Kendall Ryan. Then we have Brooks. 
Thaddeus, Kyle, and Maximus, all by Riley Edwards. Amari and the Night Brothers by um, B.B. Alston. Unraveling by Elizabeth Norris. Uh, they Came to Kill by William W. Johnstone, Darkness on the Edge of Town by J. Carson Black, I've Got Your Number by Co um, Sophie Kinsella, uh, Girl Online by Zoe Sugg, and then we have Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. Headcase by Onlay James, which this is um, book four in the series, which I just, my friend Lori just got this for me. Then we have the rest of the Nicholas, the Immortal, the Secrets of the Immortal, the Immortal Nicholas Flamel series by Michael Scott. We have The Enchantress, The Warlock, The Necromancer. And these were honestly cover buys. I haven't even read any. I've read, I've read book one, but I haven't finished it. The Magician and The Sorceress. Here So Far Away by Hadley Dyer. Proof of Innocence by Patricia McLynn. Um, A Plague of Sinners by Paul Lawrence. And then we have two stories from R.L. Stein for the Fear Street series. It's basically super thriller nightmares. Uh, the first one is The Dead Boyfriend and then Give Me a K-I-L-L. Um, then we have this... Uh, the series here, but I don't know where the other books are. There's two more around here somewhere, there which I've already read. Altered Carbon, and I absolutely loved them. And it looks like it's on Netflix, so I'm gonna have to watch that. So we have Altered Carbon and uh, Woken Furies, both by Richard K. Morgan. The Stand, um, Captain Trips by Stephen King. The Runaway, the one, the Runaways Diary by James Patterson and Emily Raymond, Every Day by David Levithan, Bay's End by Edward Lorne. The girls having difficulties here, so I'm gonna move you up. Stay, phone, stay, stay, phone, stay, stay. Alrighty, let's see here. Next we have The Ch Only Children Dream, a book of poetry by S.C. Dickinson. She does have her YouTube channel, her own YouTube channel, but I can't, I don't know what it is right now because she changes it a lot. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah. But it was decent. I enjoyed a few of them. I marked the ones that I liked. So, so there's, there's a few tabs in there. Okay. Oh, <laughs> then we have Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan. Uh, the Sun Also Rises by Nicola Yoon. And Where the Heart Is by Billy Letts. This next part's going to be difficult <laughs> because the table's in the way. And I'm knocking books over. Oh, of course. Come here. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay. We have Rot and Ruin, Dust and Decay, Flesh and Bone, <laughs> Fire and Ash, Bits and Pieces, and Broken Lands, all by Jonathan Mayberry. <laughs> Next.
Next we have the Keeper of the Lost City series by Shannon Messenger. So give me a second. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so we have Keeper of the Lost Cities, Exile, Never Seen, Everblaze, eh. Lodestar, Nightfall, and Flashback. <laughs> Your girl is not happy. Not happy. I'm trying to figure out how to get to the rest of those books back there. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. <sighs> Next we have Rise of the Royal Blood and A March into Darkness, both by Robert Newcomb. Omega Days by John L. Campbell. Come here. Come to mommy. Daddy to the Rescue by Susan Kearney. Bulletproof Heart by Cheryl Lynn. Home to Copper Mountain by Rebecca Winters. Oh, ha. O'Halloran's Lady by Fiona Brand. Shadows of Steel by Del Brown. And Resistance, The Gathering Storm by William C. Dietz. This is ridiculous. Okay, Lost Miserable. Lost m m I have no idea. By Victor Hugo, which I have read and I loved it. I gave it five stars. <laughs> I, I used to know how to pronounce it. Obviously, I can't find words today, but that's okay. It's all good. It's all good. All right. Next, we have um, the Dragons in Our Midst series by uh, Brian Davis. We have Raising Dragons. The Candlestone, Circle of the Seven, and Tears of a Dragon. Next we have Rainbow Six by... Don't we already have Rainbow Six? We already have Rainbow Six. Another wrong home. I already have Rainbow Six. We do that a lot. We buy duplicates. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. Next we have The Affair by Lee Child and Grave Peril by Jim Butcher. Um The Sum of All Fears by Tom Clancy. And then we have the Janus Reprisal by Robert Ludlums. The um, the uh, front cover there tore off uh, at some point, so I have no way of showing you the cover. It's been missing for a while. Okay. Next we have um, the uh, Kane Chronicles trilogy by Rick Wright Orton. I'm not going to take them out because they're they're heavy and they're big and so we have the red pyramid we have the throne of fire and the serpent's shadow next we have death and other happy endings by melanie cantor an anonymous girl by greer hendrix and sarah pecan pecan uh, Mine Hunter inside the FBI's Eli Serial Crime Unit by John Douglas and Mark Olshaker. Uh, 
nothing on all there. Okay. Then we have Bloom by Kevin Panetta and Savannah Ganucci. Um, the, I've read this twice and I love it. Then we have What If It's Us by Becky Avertali and Adam Silvera, another one that I've read and loved. Then we have the audiobook for Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Told you he's a huge Harry Potter fan. I mean, I used to be obsessed with it, but now I'm not. So, and I recently just read the series and I loved them, but I probably won't. So, next is The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager. Then we have Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. Um, Betty White in Person. Um, the Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Um, so this is Love by Elizabeth Lim. This is a Cinderella retelling. And then we have Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. I'm trying to figure out how to get to the back ones. Because back there we have, we have the Hunger Games trilogy. Okay, I can reach those. And then, so we have the Hunger Games Catching Fire, and Mockingjay, all by Suzanne Collins. I, I can't reach, I can't reach the Throne of Glass series, which I have all of them. Um, so there's Throne of Glass, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire, Tower of Dawn, Empire of Storms, Queen of Shadows, The Assassin's Blade, and Kingdom of Ash. And then I have the Unwanted series back there uh, <laughs> by, um, oh, I think it's Lisa, Mc yeah, Lisa McMahon. So I have those. <sighs> I'm not looking forward to this next part because I'm going to have to move stuff to get to it. So, oh, please don't fall. Oh, please don't fall. Okay. It's all good. Okay. So, we're going to go to this shelf here. And um, wish me luck. Because. Thanks a lot. Okay. <laughs> we have The Midnight Line by Lee Child. You didn't see that. Uh, a Wanted Man by Lee Child, Twilight by Kristen Heitzman. You did not see that. And we have Behind the Lines by Andrew Carroll. And Day by Day Armageddon Ghost Run by J.L. Bourne. Then we have Day by Day Armageddon, Origin to Exile, The Eleventh Plague by um, uh, Jeff Hirsch, uh, Day by Day Armageddon, uh, Shattered Hourglass by J.L. Bourne, uh, Lee Child's uh, Night School. Then we have The Kremlin's Candidate by Jason Matthews. No Middle Name by Lee Child. Bad Luck and Trouble by Lee Child. <coughs> Doorknob 5-2 by Frederick Arnold. Walk in My Combat Shoes by James Patterson and Matt Eversman. The Intruders by Stephen Kuntz. 
Then we have The Astonishing Thing by Sandy Ward and Halo Battleborn by Cassandra Rose Clark. And then we have a bunch more Clive Cussler up here. We have uh, The May Mayan Secrets. Uh, the Thief, The Gangster, The Eye of Heaven, The Kingdom, uh, and The Bootlegger. And then we have True Honor by um, D. Henderson. Okay, so next we have um, In the Afterlight by Alexander Bracken. Zero Day by Jan Gancy. And then we have if you Vince Flynn here, we have Pursuit of Honor, Total Power, Enemy of the State, uh, The Last Man, then we have these uh, Underscourge, Underscourge of the Sewer, um, comic books, uh, by Stefano Raphael and Christoph Beck. Next we have Keep You Close by Karen Cleveland. One Second After by William R. Fortune. And then we have the Harry Potter series. We have um, A Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, um, Prisoner of Azkaban, uh, Goblet of Fire, <laughs> these are so heavy, uh, The Order of the Phoenix, The Half-Blood Prince, and The Deathly Hallows all by she who must not be named <laughs> then we have some more fence flynn and another lee child so we have a um, matchup by well it's edited by lee child so this one has multiple authors here then we have ordered to kill uh the survivor and protect and defend all by vince flynn Stay. Please stay. Please stay. Oh, please stay. Okay. Alrighty. Next, we have Anthony Trollope's, um, oh, something Thorn. Dr. Thorn. It's actually, like, the second book in the series, but I had never been able to find the other ones. This one was, like, honestly, uh, a cover buy. Uh, I just love how the cover looks, so I have no idea what it's even about. We have a couple more Clive Card Cussler here. We have um, Crescent Dawn and The Cutthroat. And we have The Protector by Jody Ellen Malpas. Red War by Vince Flynn. Um, the Sniper and the Wolf by Scott McEwen. Don't worry, we don't treat our books badly. That's how we bought it. <laughs> okay, then we have Lone Survivor by Marcus Luttrell. The 37th Floor by Jody Compton. The Haunting of Hawk's Nest. It's a Crooked Lake Mystery by 
It's the first book in the Crooked Lake series by uh, Robert W. Craig, Greg. And then we have Don't Let Go by Harlan Coben. Dodge City by um, Tom Clavin. Home Run by um, Travis Thrasher. Uh, a Promise Unbroken and A Heart Divided. Um, so there's two books in this, this collection here by Al Lacey. Okay. Then we have, um, uh, we have Innocent Blood, um, Altar of Eden, and Amazon Amazonia by all by um James Rollins. I'm here. Then we have Knockdown and Death in the Ashes, both by uh, William W. Johnstone. Then we have The Pharaoh's Secret. The Emperor in the Emperor's Revenge, both by Clive Cussler. Then we have The Wild One by Nick Petrie. And Sniper Elite One Way Trip by Scott McEwen. Just put me as because it just makes more room for me. Okay. So next we have Target America by Scott McEwen. Then we have The Demon Crown and um, The Kill Switch, both by James Rollins. We have Zombie Ohio by Scott Kenamore. The Weight of This World by David Joy. Sudden Death by Allison Brennan. Full, Full Black by Bla um, Brad Thor. The Final Day by William R. Forstjen. Uh, bear with me. Uh, Mirage by Clive Cussler. Okay, then we have The Judas Strain by James Rollins, Flesh Eaters by Joe McKinney, the other books are around here somewhere, uh, The President's Vampire by Christopher Farnsworth, Foreign Influence and Blacklist, both by Brad Thor, The Unquiet by Michaela Everett. Then we have um, Extreme Measures and Act of Treason, both by Vince Flynn. Then we have One Year After by William R. Forstjen. Hunter Killer by George Wallace and Don Keith. Guts and Gunships, What It Is. What it was really like to fly combat helicopters in Vietnam by Mark Garrison. And a cyber attack by Tim Washburn. Okay. Okay, next we have Toy Taker by Luke Delaney. Um, Spy Master by Brad Thor. We have The Rising by Brian Keene and Livewire by Laura Lee. We have um, Clash of the Eagles by Alan Smale. Um, this Zombies vs. Robots anthology, This Means War. Um, there are several authors for that one. I don't know if you can see that, but I thought it was pretty cool. Um, the Reapers by John Connolly, 
and Vets Under Siege by Martin Schramm. Then we have some more Brad Thor here. We have The Last Patriot, uh, Takedown, and State of the Union. Then we have uh, the all the gallant Gall all the gallant men by Donald Stratton, um, the shadow by James Patterson, and D Day by Stephen E. Ambrose. Then we have this side of heaven and if you only knew, both by Kristen Higgins, or no, I was wrong. Karen, uh, this side of heaven is by Karen Kingsbury and then. Um, if You Only Knew by Kristen Higgins. I didn't honestly know that I had a Kristen Higgins book. I just read it. Oh, okay. I want to set that one aside. And then we have Ink Heart and Ink Spell by Cornelia Funk. Severed by Kate Watterson. The Awakening by Nora Roberts. Then we have River of Night and Aww. River of Night and the Valley of Shadows, both by John Ringo and Mike Massa. Then we have Blowback and Act of War, both by Brad Thor. I'm really sad. sad. Nothing books over. Okay. Next we have The Rising Tide by Jeff Shara. It's a novel of World War II. Uh, the Art of Racing in the Rain by Garth Stein. The Fallen uh, by Thomas E. Snagoski? Snagoski? Something like that. Left Behind by Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins. How did that get in the house? <laughs> Devil in the White City <coughs> by Eric Larson. Ugh. <sighs> uh. I Know You Know by Jillian McMillan, Time After Time by Tamara Ireland Stone. And we have The Magic, The Madness, The Whole Story, 1958 to 2009, Michael Jackson by J. Randy Terabarelli. Okay, then we have 12 Strong by Doug Stanton. Halo Evolutions, Essential Tales of the Halo Universe, Volume 2. And this has got, you know, several different authors. Then we have The Doomsday Key by James Rollins. And The Lions of Lu Lucerne by Brad Thor. <sighs> Next we have Broken Spurs by B.J. James. Uh, the Covert Wolf by Bonnie um, Vanak, maybe. Um, At Risk by Jean uh, Stevens. Uh, Hide in Plain Sight by Sarah Orwig. Tangled Sheets, Tangled Lies by Julie Hogan. Uh, Ryan's Return by Lindsay Stevens. Knocking shit over again. 
Okay, next we have some more James Rollins books. We have The Bone Labyrinth, The Seventh Plague, Ice Hunter, and The Last Oracle. Next, we have All Quiet on the Western Front by Eric Maria Remarque. Remarque. Pulse by Jeremy Robinson. Old Man's War by John Scalzi. And The Last Colon Colony by John Scalzi. Then we have. If I Die in combat, Any Combat Zone, Box Me Up and Ship Me Home by Tim O'Brien, along with Going After Cassiata by the same author. And then I have Chicken Soup for the Soul, 101 Tales of Family, Friendship, and Fun Life, Le Lessons from the Cat by Amy Newmark. Then... I have The Darkest Legacy, Through the Dark, and it Never Fade, all by Alexander, Alexander Bracken. Then I have Journey of the Pharaohs and Nighthawk by Clive Cussler. The Last Kids on Earth by Max Braulier. Okay, next we have The Eye of the World, um, The Sixth Extinction, both by James Rollins. And then we have The Death and Life of Superman by Roger Stern. Return with Honor by Captain Scott O'Grady. Dagger's Edge by Laura Lee. Then we have Resident Evil City of the Dead, book three by S.D. Perry. The other one's around here somewhere. The Wanderer by Robin Carr. Frankie's Back in Town by Jeannie London. Battlefront USA vs. Militia by Ian Slater. Then we have Smallville Dragon by um, Alan Grant. Smallville, Smallville City by Devin Grayson. And a Smallville Who Done It by Dean Wesley Smith. And then I have True Valor, uh, which I thought I already said I have True Valor, by D. Henderson. And then I have The Apostle by Brad Thor and Spartan Gold by um, Clive Cussler and Path of the Assassin by Brad Thor. So that's what I'm going to do for now, and I will see you in the next one.